Jauh Suba, selamat sore. Aniki me yagamo, itoki laut mana wegaine. Itoki danago enaka duaine. Koya keitai ikan ma karang ma laut ma manako enak keitaine. Mama, bapa, Yokaido iki idima koya keitai. Itoko danago koyao. My name is Selfie Tabai. Uh, I come from Indonesia. So my my family name is Tabai. So it's a I'm native native people from the highland of the Papua West Papua, and then uh, I'm working with the community in Papua and West Papua. So. Uh, it is an interesting time to uh, introduce myself and introduce my uh, customary tradition in West Papua. Thank you. Thank you. So I want to start with you, Tebai, Selvi, Tebai, to, you know, how do you involve? Just, you know, a lot of people ask us, how do you work with indigenous communities? You know, how, how do you involve them in decision making? So can you just share with us kind of how you do that and give us some examples or highlight some solutions of, of how that's been done in West Papua? Yeah. Um, uh, in, in, in West Papua, we have a, we have a community, a local community. There are three parties, uh, namely uh, representative from the representative from the customary uh, customary society and then a second is a representative from the religion is like a leader of the chart and then the third is a representative for the government lo local government and then it's especially for the uh, co uh, conservation marine conservation uh, where 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 the uh, it is a process to the uh, establish uh, the the Three parties must have a responsibility, high responsibility, in the, the starting from the when they're planning when they're planning to uh, make the MPA MPA program until the established program. It it must be approved by the uh, co local community by the community in Papua, so they can uh, give the advice for the program for the conservation uh, process. Uh, when uh, it's about the uh, core zone, core zone or, uh, is, um, uh, because we, we have a, a traditional, traditional knowledge because we have a traditional customary practices in the, in the area. So when they establish the uh, core zone, or no tax zone, it's like no tax zone, it must be approved by the uh, local community. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's one uh, involving the community community people from the West Papua. And then second is a community uh, local in Papua uh, advice to what, what activity can do and what activity can not do in, in conservation area. And now uh, we have uh, one mechanism of uh, 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 supporting, uh, supporting uh, mechanism to continue finance a sustainable finance in US Papua, and then uh, have a, a person from a representative for local Papua is a, like uh, academic from the academic and then from the uh, government can uh, position in the board. So there are um, uh, deciders, uh, deciding maker from the uh, uh, program and then from the uh, money to support the conservation. Yeah, I think so. so. Sounds like really making sure that there's representation from across yeah. and clarity on how decisions are, are made yeah. um, with a lot of socialization when, and engagement along the how, how are you as a teacher really exploring some of these and, and, fig and bridging these so that people like Anthony can have these pathways that weren't afforded to most of us? Yeah. Uh, I think uh, it is a big challenge to, to me, but maybe to us, when the transfer knowledge is a like traditional knowledge for the 
younger generation today. So we've been we, 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 when we talk about the traditional knowledge, about the customary role for the younger, they can think about it. It is the past story, not for me, but it is my, for just for the sensor. It's not for me. So it is, I think it is a very, uh, it is one big uh, challenge to, to me, to us, to transfer knowledge, the local knowledge, is a traditional knowledge, customary rule for the, our younger today. So based on my uh, responsibility like a lecturer in the University of Papua, we have uh, two, two course, the mainly course in Papua University. It's like about the student must know, knowing about the ethnography of Papua. Is it, is it consists of how you, you are? And then it's, uh, tell about the biodiversity, tell, tell about the uh, distribution of language in Papua, uh, distribution of tribe in Papua, and then how to people interaction with the resources in Papua. I teach the one, of course, in my university. So for the practices, uh, I give the exercise to my student, go to the field, and then talk about the, uh, uh, inter uh, about the indigenous uh, knowledge, about the practices. It's a long, long time ago, the existing to now, and, and why they, they can be changed. So it is, uh, and then second, uh, I, te I teach my student is, second course is about the sociology uh, coastal community. Sociology coastal community uh, talk about the, how to uh, people in, in coastal area, in Marin and a uh, small area, is it like Papua people to interesting, to uh, interesting and to uh, use, utilizing their resources in the, in the coastal. And then how to knowing about the characterize the socioeconomic and culture is a, like important things for younger generation today. So many uh, young generation is, didn't know about who you are. Mm. Yeah, so it is very uh, important to, to teach my student and uh, at Papua University, but it's mainly courses, consists of uh, other con uh, course in uh, Papua University, is the second. And then the, and the, it, it is the first. And the second is um, with my colleagues in Papua University, we can make a one modules. You see, consists of the local contents about the practices uh, in, uh, indigenous people to interact in their resources in the Papua. So, in the in these years, the modules can be implementing in one of the uh, area uh, marine conservation area in the Borja Seascape. Uh, it's a Kaimana uh, region. So the model proposed uh, just to support the elementary student, elementary student to knowing about their, their uh, environmental. Is it like, is it like about where is your uh, resources? And now you, where you come from? Where you culture? Is it about it? So this year's uh, the module can be established in the uh, one area conservation in West Papua. It is second and the third, with my with my friend in the, our, our university, we facilitate the government, local government, to to do um, make uh, to do finishing uh, uh, local local regulation to protect the customary area in the marine. Uh, in the marine area. So customary people must be have a, uh, uh, must be have a, enough uh, space to their live and enough space to their extend with the resources. I think, uh, yeah, it is the third uh, ways to, to support the challenge from uh, Anthony, to, su uh, to support the challenge for uh, young generation today to change the mindset 
to change their uh, thinking of their indigenous knowledge is uh, important, but but not it is a uh, past story. Of, uh, but today is the story for us. These are really examples about the cycles, right, of, and the timing and, and where all of our different peoples are in terms of, of kind of coming out of these realizations and the impacts from change and, and colonization and all of this, and, and everybody's in a different place. And they're yeah. multifaceted, right? In some places, we have you know, young people ready, hungry. In other places, we have to remind and really rebuild yeah. um, this hunger and this understanding of this importance so it doesn't go away. Thank you for that. That's what's called a Polynesian minute. <laughs> Selvi. Yeah. Uh, the, I think one, one the point, uh, important point to listen today, uh, indigenous people is the last guardians to save our ocean. Because, because of that, we must support the indigenous people, give them, uh, give them, uh, access, more access to do it something in, in their, their area, in their town, in, the, in their, their uh, right uh, land. So I, I think now many program comes to the, yeah, like West Papua and another place maybe, is indigenous, indigenous people is become to the object to the something program. So now, indigenous people can become the last guardian to save our ocean. We must give them more capacity for indigenous people. It's like uh, give the give the position, give the uh, like active to actor to uh, create the resources to keep the uh, keep the resources and then help to the community and then educate for the community too. So uh, one day point is a, like Papua, is a, we have a patriarchy uh, culture. Patriarchy culture is a gift. Women doesn't have a power. Women doesn't have to access to formal and informal uh, uh, program or activity, but today, Women have a power. Women uh, can join with the men together, working together to protect their resources. And, and now, it's a past, past time, maybe uh, patriarchy in West Papua is a absolutely a fact. But today, it's a chance. So why, why it can be chance? Because women, Give women have a more access in the program conservation. Maybe, Lani, you know, one, one area conservation in West Papua, we have a one group for women. They, they like, uh, they uh, control, uh, patrol, patrol teams, it comes from the women. So it is just, uh, I think it's a very extra, uh, interesting to me because the women, uh, can uh, do get uh, some same with the men today, so it is. Yeah, I think it's a very important where they're involving the local community. And don't make a mom or a grandma mad. <laughs> Never a good idea. Thank yeah. you. Those and acknowledge that we have to bring things to a close, and they're just as important as opening. And so I, I've given, been given the privilege to join my friend and our MC um, for today to bring a small tradition from Hawaii to be a way to close today and, and as a closure for this session on the other side of um, Moiwe. And so, and, and Keobo KB um, is partly, we're gonna claim him for Hawaii because he was partly raised in Hawaii, so we're gonna do this together. And um, if all of you would like to join us, um, we offer the opportunity to do something just very small. So remember, we're all in a circle. And in Hawaii, we have multiple clapping styles, but one is an opoho style. So you clap, because it makes it, this kind of a clap makes a different sound to this. And it represents the planet, the Earth. 
It also represents the womb and regeneration. So I'm just gonna say a few words that's really gonna ask for safeguarding, to safeguard all of us, to be able to flourish in all of the elements, in, in the heavens, on earth, in the ocean, and here in Belao, um, as a gratitude for all of the wonderful hosting. So I'm gonna say a few words, I'm gonna pause, I'll be a little dramatic, and that means you're gonna clap once. And then I'm gonna say a couple more words, and I'll be a little dramatic, and then we're gonna clap twice. So if you'd like to join us, no pressure, but if you want, what I would like you to do is in this clap, hold an intention something that maybe you were inspired by today, something you heard that you're gonna follow up on, some commitment that you're gonna make, big or small, that's just gonna help take the next step towards having these conversations and making space. So we thank you again for that. So, okay. Ma lama oko ya mako. E ului kalani, e ului kohonua, e ului kamwana nui akea, e ulu ikapai aina o belao. Eli Eli Komai, a mama, uanoa. It is lifted, it is free. Thank you so much. We're free. Thank you, everyone, and that uh, that brings us to a close. Um, <laughs> I don't want to say that we saved the best for last, but it seems like we did. And I'm not just saying that because Noah's my boss, but uh, <laughs> yes, um, please enjoy your evening and we'll see you bright and early tomorrow. Thank you.